Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, real or set? How about a real set? Set real? Stay tuned. All right, guys, so before I get started, um, you guys know I got to have my black coffee every morning, and uh, this keeps me going because I get long day. Uh, I actually work until 1030 every night, and I start my day off at 7, so I definitely need my black coffee every morning. But I'm going to sacrifice the funds to improve my mic system. I've been saving up to get a new mic system because, you know, the wind's been terrible out here in the Bay Area. Um, every time I shoot, every time I play, the wind's like a tornado and it doesn't help with the sound quality. So I know a bunch of you have been asking to see if you can help with uh, the sound quality. So if you want to buy me just a bunch of coffees, I'll put those funds towards a new uh, microphone system uh, so that everybody kind of benefits. Okay. Uh, buy me a coffee backslash tennis spin. Thank you in advance. All right. So reels of string versus sets of string. What is more cost effective? What is better for you? Now, I know that um, pros, you know, when they go to tournaments, they hand me the reel or hand me the two reels if it's a hybrid and say, you know, 52 here, 48 there, you know, kind of the two, the two sets, right? Now for the regular person, is that cost effective? Is that good for you? Well, I know the juniors want to be the pro, like a pro. So they want to carry that cool reel with them. Um, and I get it, you know, you kind of, you know, it's more of a security blanket knowing that you have a reel with you, uh, versus a bunch of sets. Cause you definitely can see your, you know, if you carry 10 sets, you start dwindling down and you're like, Oh, I'm down to my last two sets. So that's actually not a good thing. Um, you can, when you have sets, you know, when you're getting down low, when you have reels, sometimes it's hard to tell like how much you got. Cause I get pros and juniors asking me all the time how many more rackets can i get on it how many more rackets can i get on it i'm like man you're probably down to like one or two and then you start panicking but if you have sets at least you know when you're down to your last set or two and then you kind of replenish so that's the one thing that the sets will tell you um, unless you have a bunch of reels you know in your arsenal or disposal uh, that you can just grab from or quickly order. But do you really save money um, when you use a reel? Well, let's take a look at it. Um, so I got confidential here. Now, the reason why I have three different reels and sets here is because each, each of these companies give you different different lengths in the reel. As you can see, this confidential is 656 feet, right? This ALU is 726 feet in this reel. This RPM is 660. So the norm in a reel, a full reel, is 660 feet. They do sell a bunch of these in what they call mini reels too. And those mini reels are usually for four string jobs. Um, there's also 300 and it's half of the 660. So it's 320, 330, excuse me, 330, um, 330 in the mid half reels of some of these that they also make. Uh, so let's just break it down before i go any further so each set is 40 feet right that's all the same these are a little different okay so let's let's break it down with a calculator okay i'm going to get my phone 
turn in the calculator. Okay, so the first one, 728 divided by 40, let's say, 18.2, okay? So 18.2 string jobs. So essentially 18 string jobs. The confidential, 656 divided by 40, 16.4. So essentially 16 string jobs. And then the 660 is probably going to be right around that 16.4 also divided by 40, 16.5. So 16 and a half string jobs. Okay, so we can get about 18 string jobs out of that reel, 16 out of that, and 16 out of that RPM. So does is it cost effective, though? So you're looking at our ALU at about 285, confidential at about 160, RPM at about two, I think it's about 260 now for the reel. Now for the sets, it's about 20 bucks here. Uh, I think it's 13 here. And then RPM is about, the last I've seen was, I think it was $19. So does it make sense to buy the reel versus the set? So I'll put it over here. So 20 bucks, right? This is $13 and this is $19. Okay. So let's do the math on that. So if you were to set it out like 20 sets times 18, okay, 20 times 18, 360, you save a little money, okay? So 360. How about on that confidential? All right, so for confidential, 16 sets in that reel times 13. So 208 will be that one. And then the final one, RPM. So 16, you're going to get 16 string jobs out of that times, let's say, $19, 304 out of that. So as you can tell, you're going to save some money, right? You buy that reel, right, for that. And then if you bought the sets out, it would have been that. So everywhere, you're going to save money. Looks like average about 40 to $50 here. Granted, granted, your stringer knows what they're doing. So if you bring it to somebody like me, you know, you guys probably know how I measure mine out. But if you got somebody that don't know what they're doing and they're pulling out feet like this, right? And then cutting off like 10 feet or five feet off each end, right? Your, your savings, your savings, will start to diminish pretty quickly. You jack up one string job, two string jobs, right? You're gonna wind up even pretty quickly. So just, I understand that the reel is kind of secure for you, but you may wanna carry some sets with you just in case or, or carry a spare reel with you. Because if that person doesn't know what they're doing, they're burning a lot of string from that reel, okay? So cost effective wise, yes, get the reel. Get a couple reels if you burn through strings really fast. Um, is it cost effective? If your stringer knows what they're doing, it is cost effective. If you string your own, you can probably even get more out of this because you're measuring more tightly. So be careful, don't under cut it if you undercut it then you have to scrap the whole string so you guys have probably learned that the hard way just like me okay so buy a reel save some money thank you for watching tennis spin where we put our spin on your tennis